Anything said and done during this interview is not for you to be in your feelings. We represent real sh** of a clout. Sit back, find some exotic, pull up something, and tap in. Keep it on me, get a wire for the op. Game in the headlock, got it on lock. Smoking that side of my fuck on the thigh. We ain't cap money, but we got the block hot. They ain't getting money, what the fuck they doing? Ride fish ball, we don't tend to this form. If ain't nobody gon' die, don't show it. I, I just hit a rich little bitch and ain't know it. Cool, these rap niggas down, I'm cold. I just wanna fuck, look, bay, I'm bald. This bang roll too thick, won't fall. Yo, what's good? As promised, we finally heard episode one of many. Speak on it with me, D Pain. And it's a special one because we chose bro to be the first one to push up on, on us and chop it up with us. You did. He was a highly recruited football player straight out of high school. A father, a JFL coach, entrepreneur, owner of the first black gaming center in the heart of St. Louis. Owner of ABS security company and a real deal step in the city. And he came to speak on it with us today. Man, other than my player partner, Durs Ford, better known as Burber. What's up with it, big gangster? My boy, my boy. You good? I would. Let's take a shot real quick, bro. Cause this some new shit we doing. I see you shining. That's probably why you here right now. You did. Mm -hmm. You know, you my brother from another mother, so we here to speak on it. So we gonna jump straight into this shit. I kind of met you in like shit middle school slash high school. Like, what was like your upbringing like as a you know what I'm saying? Like six years old type shit, start playing football. Like, what was your upbringing like? Shit, and probably about, I think up until I got towards high school, uh, I, I started, no, I probably say seventh eighth grade. I actually moved, started staying with my old dude. And we lived in, in, in Baden, basically. Mm -hmm. so, uh, shit, instead of me going to motherfucking, uh, what's that, Baden Elementary or Northwest, shit, I went to a private school, which was still in Baden. It was right, like, two blocks from our crib, from where we stayed. Mm -hmm. Right there, uh, 800 Baden was what we call it, the 8. Then from there, once I got out of private school, which was with Rose Luther in the 8th grade, I do wanted me to go to Luther and North. What, the 8th grade? After eighth grade, from but high then school. all that shit led you to East. Yeah, cause I, I mean I really didn't want to go to I really didn't want to go to the Luther North. Cause you know what I'm saying I was I was I was already at that point I was I was private school out. You right. Know what I'm saying like, I was tired of the uniform. All my friends was either going to motherfucking Northwest or you know what I'm saying middle school. I was, you know what I'm saying? I, I went to Kirby. You know what I'm saying? My, my old dude always had me in Hazelwood. I mean, Kirby was lit as a motherfucker. You, you, you already that was know. Okay, so prison for some people. Like, that shit was crazy. You know when my granny <laughs> stayed, I was able to, you know, some of our motherfuckers used granny address. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go to school. So, shit. Granny address, shit, I was able to, to be in Hazelwood. From there, I went to motherfucking East. Which, like I said, I ain't, I ain't even want to go to motherfucking Luther and all that shit. In private school, shit, I was fighting. So, you fighting this shit in private school. So, when you finally get your ass up to East, was it like a... I know we, we know you as a football nigga this time. Mm -hmm. Like, you played football, you was a dog on the field. So, it was like, you also was on some shit where you was getting recruited heavy. Like, you was a dog. Like, you had a lot of... You remember that, that motherfucking... Uh, Newspaper article with you sitting out with all the papers and shit, the letters and shit coming. Yeah, from, from recruiters and shit. So like, from eighth grade, I played with with, with Spanish Lake Tigers. You know, right. You know, was, I was beefing you know, with Kirby. That was me. She was low. That was me. Eric, Mike Evans, motherfucking Seaweed, Sheldon Richardson. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit. We we had hell of motherfuckers. It's hell of motherfuckers that they just. Off the, off, off, off the top, Big Steve, Big Steve with the long arms, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Motherfucking. So, I mean, playing football, we always wanted to play the best, and we felt like we was the best, but we was unlimited at 13, 14. So, right. shit, the, the next best school was Kirby. We, even though I went to Kirby, I didn't play for Kirby. Nah, fair, I, I remember I played, this shit. I played for Spanish Lake, but we never got a chance to play Kirby. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. it was always that, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no beef, but it was like, nigga, we, we were smoky out of ass. But yeah, I remember this the same shit. niggas that I'm telling that to, I'm going to school. It's like, y'all my dog. Exactly. Like, you, shit, you were still playing football at, at, at the time, so shit, I was going to crush your ass too. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Hey. But, it, but it was like shit when, 
<laughs> so it was like shit. I was still from baby. My old dude was just taking me, taking me to school. You know what I'm saying? So from private school to Hazelwood, going to Kirby, it was like, oh shit. It was still me seeing my niggas because me being in Baton, Jim's right around the corner. Yeah. So you, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's the same niggas that I see in Walden Park or North Northwest. Been out of Kirby, they on the same shit. They use a granny address, a granny in the state, out of the, you know what I'm saying, move to the county, so everybody stay in the granny crib. I mean, you know, that's that's just normal in black culture, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in granny crib, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much how it, then we actually move, you know what I'm saying, out there. That's when we right. you know what I'm saying, stay so in the jam you know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's when we get to meeting everybody, Courtney Wine, you, you know what I'm saying? So it is still middle school, eighth eighth grade going into freshman year. Then yeah. freshman year. That's when it really kicked off. You know what I'm saying? We moved right down the street from East. So mm. I'm already geek like, yeah, I ain't dead. Yeah. You know, East with my niggas. Now we finna play for the same football team. So shit, we was like, shit, it's, it's up. Then it's like, shit, we get freshman year. And nigga, we, nigga, we turned up. Mm -hmm. You know how we came and we was, nigga, we was more, we thought we was more <laughs> shit than the upper class, you know what I'm saying? But it was the last the of a dying class, breed for real. But yeah, but, but it was like, I think, the big difference with our class is, nigga, the upper class was pretty much everybody big brothers, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah Marco, Goo had, man, man. Nah, you fake. You know what I'm saying? had Tanky, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, all the upper class, man, was big bros. Yeah. And, you know how, shit, we just fell in line, you know what I'm saying, from, from, from that point on. Either. So look, so you, nigga, you playing football at this point in your life, you probably, shit, looking to play college. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you committed to Mizzou, what the fuck happened? From you ever stepping on Mizzou campus? Uh, man, I, I I think the gang culture. The gang culture? Yeah. Like, niggas don't understand that shit. Like, the county was always like a, it was always like a hood out here. Like, it was always the trenches. The like the, at, at this time, the county was infested with the city kids. Nah, fact. So it was like, it's just like, just like in the '80s, nigga, when 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 Coke first hit Miami, nigga, you had all the Cubans in Miami. They they bringing all the trouble. So it was just like all the sheep kids coming to the county. So you was basically saying you was running around doing some of the wrong shit. I I, I wouldn't say none of the wrong. I, I I wouldn't say none of the wrong shit. I ain't do nothing different than most normal badass kids from the city. So what? Like so they took the, did they take the scholarship back? Was it like some So with with that situation was I right, I think all through motherfucking high school, you know, high school is just you know, fo football was football, you know what I'm saying? And East was East. You know what I'm saying? East was dominant. So it's like Yeah, fake. You know, not not that I, not that I'm grown, maybe I say did I put myself in a situation? Maybe yeah. But I, I didn't, like I said, I, I ain't do nothing different than most normal kids, you know what I'm saying? So we going into, we going into state, it's the playoffs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, motherfucker, what's this second out? I'm in Spanish. We have a, we got a substitute. I think he like 22, he white though. Mm -hmm. So maybe we have a Spanish test, doing the Spanish boom, do my test. We done, you know what I'm saying? Fucking uh, I forgot, I forgot who I was talking to, but like I said, I wasn't doing nothing different than most kids. So we talking, everybody done. You know what I'm saying? Me and, me and the girl with me. I mean, uh, matter of fact, it was jazz. We whispering. The substitute tell me to be quiet, so I, 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 I'll be quiet. With Bad you. ass dude, bro. So, right, <laughs> nigga I, was treacherous I, running I, around I, that bitch I, to I, remind I, people this nigga was bad as hell. A big six foot, <laughs> like, so three I, niggas, I do bad, do trying to be sneaky and shit. So you was a little bad, bro. I'm some real like, shit. I, I ain't do nothing different than what most most normal kids do. But like you <laughs> said, you with I'm six foot four, six six two two sixty five. Clowning. So like I said, the, the substitute, he like twenty two. So he say, there's either you write me up. And I'm not, he's like, don't be quiet, I'm gonna write you up. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, man, if you write me up, that's gonna be a problem. Like, you, you saying for like some football shit? Or so, 
<laughs> like you, I ain't finna. I, I'm bad as fuck, but I ain't finna wig out like nigga. It's finna be a problem. You write me up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like I'm man, trying to get in trouble. You, you write me up, it's gonna be a problem. Mm-hmm. I can't get a writer. You write me up, I don't play. We play written. We play written that weekend. Fake. You know? No, mother. And they beat no, 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 no. Yeah, we don't. No, no. My first, their first, my last week, remember, we played West. We lost. Remember, we lost. Yeah. Then this happened. We played Ritter on Thursday night. That was the first, I, I, during that. So <laughs> he writes the discipline slip, said I threatened. So I get, we, I'm, so I'm telling him like, man, if you write me up, that's gonna be a problem. That's, that's, that's gonna make me ineligible for this weekend. You can't, you can't write me up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you, you, know, you tweaking out, bro. You know okay, yeah, like, I don't know. I, I wasn't saying it, but like at this point, like, I'm, you don't know who I am? Like, yeah. you can't write, like, you can't write me up, man. Like, you know, you know who I am at this point. Like, he, but I wasn't saying it like this, so he took it as you were saying it like that. Nigga. Like he took it, so he, but he took it as I had a, th- it was a threat. So, fucking uh, Johnson come, Johnson come to the door. I know. All right, here we go. Yeah, look. I'm like, the fuck is she? I'm like, man, I ain't do shit. He like, man, threatening the teacher. Like, what? <laughs> Shout out to the family. Elitist with the exotic homegrown breeders, you know what I'm saying? They mix matching the designer with the exotics, giving us shit like this. They local, they in the city, they up the block, you know what I'm saying? Smoke like pain, man. Smoke with pain smoking. Come get some of these melts, man. This it right here. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm fried. I want y'all to smoke like me. Get fried. You did what I'm saying? My old dude, we, we got a coach Jones gave us a lawyer. Which was Nelly lawyer. Boom, we get a lawyer. So she got that deep. So what we was think what he his approach was if we get a restraining order against the Hazelwood School District, they gotta leave me alone for three months. Mm. Three months, the state be over. You know, so I so I be good. So at this point, it's like, all right, if I miss if I miss the playoffs and I miss state, then I miss recruiters. You know what I'm saying? The ones that's already on me, I don't. I don't, basically I don't play, so they don't get to see me. Right. So at this point, when the schools get to the calling, they gotta tell them what's going on. You can't, I saw how they spent it with, you know what I'm saying, a gang member, you know what I'm saying, threatening a teacher, you know what I'm saying, So that's what Mizzou heard. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what Mizzou heard. So at that, so at that point, so, I get kid out of school, so I, I do the work. I, I, at this point, basically, I'm homeschooled. Right. You know what I'm saying, so I'm, I'm doing the work, boom. Do all that, you know. I don't, I don't come back to school, but they let me graduate. Right. So I showed the graduation boom. So the thing was, I go to go to JUCO, which was junior college at the time. First, I went to Arizona Western. Ooh, I did go out there. Yeah. So how, how that how that happened was the school the school wanted me so bad. So back, this was like a portal. Before the portal, yeah. so most of the junior colleges they can see who you know the most kids who, who ain't el- who, who ineligible need grades or need the credits. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way you can get to D1 above from junior college if you ain't coming straight out of high school. So yeah. the school wanted me where I went was Arizona Western, which was out of Yuma. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere in Buttfuck Egypt, which a desert. Which I knew what Yuma was because I watched Westerns with my old dude. You ever seen a movie like 310, 310 to Yuma and shit like that? Yeah, no, I'm So good. that's basically Fuck <laughs> that no Yeah, so. Fucking desert. That's, that's, that's pretty much, but that's, that's what it was. it was. It was like a desert. So. Hell die. So the coach, the coach come, you know what I'm saying? He's sitting in my, <laughs> sitting in my granny office. I mean, not my office, but my granny living room. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And at this point. It's a full ride, They're paying for my flight, woo woo. I'm like, all right, well, this, at, this, at this time, that was the best situation I had. Yeah. Which, you know what I'm saying, going out there, I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying, I'm just, I'm, I'm me at this point, so I'm like, all right, I'll go out here, all right, bet, play for two years, get up out of here. But I'm like, man, this far as fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, so I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm time. like, man, it's just shit. Uh, it's all the way across the country. So, how it happened was, like I said, with the Arizona situation, they wanted me so bad, they was willing to pay for Chuck, Dominique. Yeah, so it was like a package deal. 
Yeah, so I remember how y'all went. Yeah, and now, it wasn't full ride because they was giving like parcels and shit like that. So, yeah. I mean, we all dip. I'm like, all right, we'll bet. I go out there. We all dip. True. We got out there to Yuma. Shit, I think like my first. Courtney didn't get there before me. You know, his ass, he, he drove and he, his family he took his little car, you know, his little car. <laughs> <laughs> it was a perfect Chill Grand Prix. Up, man. My nigga had his car day day one. Hey man, man. Was smart ass, but that was my nigga though. <laughs> I was in that motherfucker sliding in that bitch too. I'm yeah, it's Dominique, Chuck, they fly before <laughs> me. Nigga, I stayed back. You know, I think we kicked. Matter of fact, I think we kicked it. That I don't think you remember, nigga. It was the day I left. Nigga, we all kicked it. It was July fourth. It was me, you, uh, fucking TJ. <laughs> Man, what was old babe name, dog? I can't. Don't be dropping that. He dripping. I, 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 I he wild, dude. You know what I'm saying is this. It's it, crazy. It, it, you probably say we don't remember. We kicked it that night before 4th of July. And then I got on a plane the next morning, July 5th. And then I get there, and then we in the middle of nowhere. And then the coach picked me up, take me to his thing. We get there. It was like another shark in the pond situation. And then we had another motherfucker fighting. Some typical kind Dominique, of shit. Dominique, Folks, the first person to get kicked off the team. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, Dominique being Dominique, you know what I'm saying? While, <laughs> while we still playing football. Yeah, he's still on for St. Louis shit. <laughs> I don't mean, so at this point, shit, Chuck ass at, got, got a little Fall Mexican. off into the shit, too. Get, got a little Mexican chick, man. We get get into it with these some Mexican niggas. We get to fight. We get... <laughs> We get into a fight, and I ain't gonna say his name because dude in the NFL. We get into it with a fight with one of the top recruits in the country here, cornerback. Yeah. We beat him up, bust his eye. And took the mile to the eyes on these niggas wild. You know what I'm saying? So we get fight at that point, nigga. We get we get kicked out of a goddamn you. So at this point, again, like I said, it's like a portal, before the portal. So we back in the portal looking for schools to go. Nigga, we going to Joliet. Nigga, it was just Chicago, another dream college. Same shit happened up there. Same shit. Only time different is Courtney didn't go. What the fuck was it like for your ass when you got down? was like, this shit over. Like, I ain't playing football no more. I got to figure this shit out. Uh, am, do I, am I finna get a job? Am I finna, like, what was that part for you? It was really at Joliet. Joliet was like a, it was like a, 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 a junior college, but it was just, it was trash. It was another school that was getting kicked ass. You know what I'm saying? But the football program was on the way of being dismantled. So yeah. at this point, I'm like, man, fuck it, I go, I just go, you know what I'm saying? Probably go home. So you came back to the crib after that? Mm hmm. Coach Jones called. And from that point, shit, Lincoln was the last stop. And then your ass, after Lincoln, that shit dead. It's like, it ain't no more football for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to go to a point where I was like, damn, I play baseball. Ain't no more baseball. Like, this shit over. Well, it was. What it was, was look, From that point, Coach Jones had me set up. Hey, no, I'm talking about, fuck, Coach Jones, football over. I'm done. Like, what is next for you when you saying I'm straight done playing football? I'm not putting any cleats on no more. I, I have my daughter. At this point, I found out that I had a daughter on the way. So my my thing was shit, fuck that. I just go on try to get a job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's what I'm on though. Like it's like I'm finna go home try to get a job. Like that shit was like for us, motherfucker that was strapped up playing sports since they was six. That shit was almost like. It was gotta, a struggle for sure. Yes, I gotta like, get a job. You like, think, you feel you me? Like, think like <laughs> motherfuckers. All right, we graduated in '09, nigga. I left Lincoln. I, I stopped playing football collegially in 2014. So what? That's what six, 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 seven years. Yeah, you just yeah. So everybody that graduated with us, everybody either had a job, found a career path, or already in a profession. Yeah, I'm behind. Now I'm here, but yeah, that, 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 them the benefits of actually trying to be an athlete, though. Like, you really trying to make it to be an athlete until this shit over, and you and, like... Yeah, it was like, nigga, I'm behind, so it was like, shit, I gotta come home and catch up. I think, like, the first time I came out there, I was working for a temp service. 
a temp service out in Brentwood or some some shit like that. Yeah, some bullshit. Yeah, some bullshit and they make like thirty dollars thirty dollars a day. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, for real, that's what it was at that time. It paid and eight I, fifty, and, been, and most of the motherfuckers was like warehouse jobs, and it was the, and that bitch slaving, yeah. like slaving, and then shit. I had my I had my daughter at that point. I mean, I had not not so, was born to so how many second. like how many like regular ass jobs when you had to apply for that you actually had? I think because I had probably about. Like I said, I, 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 I had I had I had I had one little job before my my old dude made me get a job at, at the laundry man right right over my fucking house. By what, yeah, what was the old Caesar Whitaker's right there? But and I ain't had that for long. He was it was just a job where then you 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 a senior, you graduating, and you finna go to college and go make yeah. some money. Yeah, the program. So I worked there you know, yeah, <laughs> work. motherfucker for like a month and a half. So I don't even think I counted that motherfucker as his job. But I think nigga in college. Nigga, uh, once again, my old dude made me get a job. So I think I worked at Wendy's for like, like, three, four months while I was at Lincoln. Oh, damn. That was like goddamn 2012. That was three years later. I was working crew member at Wendy's, goddamn me. Right. But at that time, nigga, I was I was jamming. Like at that point, I thought nigga, I was working all of my hours. Nigga, I had like a little brown trailblazer. So he's like, this, this kind of I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like not knowing that I really wasn't making shit. But at that time, nigga, it was, it was straight. But that vibe, yeah, but you college student. So you know what you know now? Yeah, I'm here. Like I remember, I was getting like thousand dollar checks and shit. I'm thinking like I made it. Like. I, that's when I bought my first studio and shit. I made my first thousand dollars at a real job. I bought my first studio with that shit. But it's also like, damn, nigga, I don't like being bossed around too goddamn much. The way I got into entrepreneurship, I think, nigga, I was working. I was working spectrum. I was at field tech. But nigga, I was in the city. To, I was working out of Oldman, so that's working in the city. All the street, all the, you know, the city. The trenches. The trenches. I got fired for carrying a gun. But I, I think it really wasn't. So being a field tech, I mean, you get like a little safety van check. Yeah. You got like a lockbox. I always pass my, my safety checks with a 95. That, fit, that 5% was, nigga, I, I failed because I never let them in my lockbox. So I think my supervisor thought I was selling, selling weed. In all reality, I wasn't. So one day I came to work. And one day I was just tripping. One, not tripping, but nigga, I was just in a rush. One day I came to work, nigga, out kicking it. I think it was like a day after Jamie Jam or something. Oh, yeah. Kicking it, you know, all night. Now I'm going straight to work. I got, I got my bag, whatever. Of course, I got my gun on me. So, working in the city, nigga, you come up for any of that, they piss. Mm -hmm. So, nigga, one time, nigga, that motherfucker pulled a gun on me. And that. In the procedure of the motherfucking field taking the book, and you gotta call the motherfucking uh, manager, right. manager somewhere working an easy job out of St. Peter's and shit. You 40 minutes fucking away. What the fuck you gonna do for me? So I called him. Right, that's why you carry the motherfucker. At like, that point, I'm like, you know what? Fuck that. I used to have my little my little belt, little tools and shit, and I used to put my gun right in the bag. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, the day after Jamie Jam, I'm going to work. I go straight to work from out all night, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm dropping a rental car off, nigga, on 70, nigga, I'm working out of old, and I go right around the corner, I clock in, hop in my van. Put my motherfucking coveralls on, change, got my book bag, nigga, my gun, my, my, my gun, and, and my normal Nike coat in the inside of the sleeve. Mm -hmm. Nigga got like a little three five in the uh in, in my bag. You gotta have a, a but smoke. nigga, I'm smart. You know what I'm saying? Like I know I'm smart. It's, you probably said, but nigga you ain't smart because you got caught. But in all reality, no, nigga, I put the weed in a, a glove, tied it, put in another glove, tied it, put in another glove. Yeah. You went on about my day, which I do this every day. Nigga, I got a gun on me every day. I go to work. Right. Ever since they moved me to the city. So nothing normal. So, but like I said, I always feel because I was, oh shit, I ain't got my key. I left my key. I left the key on the dresser. But I'm good because I'm getting a 95. I'm still passing. It's the five percent on that. So I think what he did was he told the security division, which was a cop. I mean, you said he ain't working. He pulled up on. He said the lady said I smell like weed. No, in reality, I didn't because nigga, I ain't smoked since motherfucking about two, three. That was the ultimate at that time. You smell like weed. Me, I know you so yeah, for breeze yourself down. I'm, I'm a, a guy, for breeze. He walked me outside. He asked to see my van, so he see my van. 
Niggas start going through my personal belongings. I'm like, man, you can't go in my personal. You see my gun, you take my gun. At that point, he called the police. Police pull up like, shit, well, the gun ain't stolen and it's his. You got to give it back to him by law. I mean, if he maybe broke spectrum rules, then that's fine, but you still got to get the gun back. So this dickhead, he take the gun and go turn it in and you sit instead of giving me my gun back. Right. So I fired me. So I go get my gun back. At that point, I get fired. I start driving trucks. That's what I'm saying. Right, yeah. you driving them motherfucking trucks. I remember y'all was doing them loads and shit. And then and I started doing security. So, we, at this point, Weez, my partner Weez, that, that was on the club scene, he asked me to come do security with him and Misty. At this point, I'm Hold on, so look. Him. This how the, this how you jumped into entrepreneurship, basically. Yeah. So you was doing security before you thought about doing the game and shit. Yeah, I I did I did security with Weez just off in the club shit. So he just hit you on some out the blue shit like come do some from from flag league. He was like shit, hey, any big niggas want to do security, come holler at me. Damn, that's hard though. Yeah. I ain't know that's how that shit started. And, you know what I'm saying? It was we it was Weez, my, my nigga Weez. So Damn, so shout out Weez, bro. Out I ain't gonna care. Wild Weez, man. We, that's what's what up. My, I know my nigga keep it a buck and a bean. We was at Misty, and from that point on. Nigga, Fahrenheit over. The mystic days. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Fahrenheit, climates, all that shit. So, at this point, you know, I always had guns. So, I'm like, Fact. at this point, I'm thinking, like, like what the armed. fuck can I do? Because I was pissed off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Spectrum, I was making pretty decent money. I was like a field take three. So, I'm making like 19, you know what I'm saying? Decent, nigga. I'm working from motherfucking clocking in at 10. Yeah, I'm clocking out at 11, damn near. Yeah. You know, that's just how long the jobs was. And as a field tech, a job will go as long as I say it go. But yeah. on the back end, it's bad if I drag a job because my point, they want you to get in fast. But me, I'm thinking nigga, the more hours, more I get paid. Uh, you know, it's a fuck that, that, that spectrum of being a, a, a higher field to me. I'm, I'm looking to get paid. So at that point, nigga, I take one of my checks and I go to the gun shop. Mm -hmm. And got buy. Just like buy. Just like Holly. Holly goes to that gun store. Yeah, gun store. I, I bought uh, like Mr. I bought a vest with the place. Then I bought a, a rifle. And I started doing security on my own. You know what I'm saying? So it was just you. It was just me by myself. So, so you going his the Fahrenheit first open. So you fucking with weeds, you going in that motherfucker, you doing security. Missed it close. Missed it and closed down, so right? I, I wasn't doing security for a minute, but at that point, that's what what I knew. You know what I'm it was like, well, damn, shit, I'm making eighty. I'm saying, was that the? I'm saying, at that point though, was it like, I'm gonna start a security company, or was it just like I'm finna just get some money, get some hustle shit right now? Well, it started off as a hustle, just get some money. Like I said, I was doing it by myself. Right. But once I seen, like I said, once I seen how much money I made by myself, I thought, well, shit, if I turn into a business, I hire motherfuckers, then you could triple this shit. I triple. It. Fact. So, we go, I think it's 2021. Mm -hmm. Five, five for the business, boom. I start ABS on Brother Security. Then I hit up Cam. Cam do the logo for me. Fact. I remember I remember them posts, like you posting this shit. I, it's, it's like I watch you build this shit up mm -hmm. on my mama. And for people that probably don't know you, like if they follow you, motherfuckers will watch you build this shit up from nothing on the internet. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Now, you got this shit jumping to the point where you finally like the point like I'm finna hire motherfuckers like, mm -hmm. you also got to fire that ass too. Yeah, <laughs> you I know think what I'm saying it's it's a few motherfuckers it's a few motherfuckers that I I, I fired that I still fuck with. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's it's, it's big you know, you know mixed personal with business. You know what I'm saying? But I hired uh, that shit like law and business like you can't miss perks. My 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 can't. thing was I ain't want to hire I ain't want to hire nobody that I knew. Or that I already did security because, like I said, me going out, I I see how security is, and I ain't want that because I know you know what I'm saying. That's that's different. I ain't want that with my brain. So <laughs> I, I hired I hired some young niggas that turned about to be some true niggas. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga Devin. Shout out my nigga Bam. They still with you right now? Yeah. Oh damn, that's hard. And when we started, if you remember me posting, nigga, my first major contract was a. Uh, was a Kira. We had a Kira out in the mall. Doing a Kira, the Kira store in the gallery and right. the Kira store in West County. And that was your first big contract. And and them two niggas. But was that something you was like, 
Like, damn, I should have got a contract. Like, I'm finna get some racks now. Like, this shit nice. Like, this shit healthy. Look, you know what we I, be I, like? I was, I, was, I was able to pay my niggas healthy, and I was still able to eat. I, and it, it, was so, the, look, it, was, it was so good, I never worked at the motherfucker. That's hard. That's my main thing. I'm trying to say, damn. Like, fuck I, that. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I ain't gonna care. That'd be the once, main thing. Once once I got that contract in, like I said, it was, shout, out, shout out to my nigga Devin and Bam. You know what I'm saying? They worked hella hours in that bitch. My nigga Bam worked so many hours in that bitch. He was falling asleep to where we Man, had to shout sleep. them type of niggas out for you know real. You know what I'm saying? Like, that that's that's how that's I think I really built my 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 company on them two niggas and, and a Damn, and that's few, wrong. And, and a few was salute my, my, to them niggas. My girl too. My girl. I, I salute to her. Too. What's their name? Goddamn it! I like giving niggas like that shout out. Uh, my, my, they know who they is. My nigga. My, I'm saying my tell them for Bam. the people that don't know. We need type of niggas like y'all to just my, my turn nigga us Bam, up. My nigga Devin, man. You know my girl, man. They know who they is. That's they hard, know, bro. I ain't gonna care yeah. cause some motherfuckers be wanting too much at the beginning when. It ain't just no, dirty give. It, 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 it was it was it was it was it was niggas that we know and niggas that that we that was you know what I'm like I said they was already doing security and I reached out to them and they, and they worked with me a few times but I couldn't pay niggas what what they was already doing paid, right? and what they deserve so obviously niggas didn't didn't stick with me but you know what I'm saying it, it is what it is and was what it, I don't hold it against them because I understand me working now like. You couldn't pay me nothing less than what I do. <laughs> oh, my mom. <laughs> I see. I see how play the game. So you started up uh, ABS. You got that shit jumping. How did the game and shit come into? Uh, the game and shit came from was basically my nigga Bone kicking me a seat at the table with the game and shit, which uh, was an opportunity that he had through his family. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to shit. Tashana and Kalana, you know what I'm saying? So that shit started right there with them, really, with yeah, the idea? They, they, they the big dogs behind behind it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they pretty much, you know what I'm saying, put put the shit in play. Put the uh, They put the trust in us to, to come up with the idea and basically what it is now, you know what I'm saying? Like, so this, see, they, they we, planted a little seed and y'all yeah, just ran see, with that You see us, we did the, you know what I'm saying? We on Instagram, we turned it down. Yeah. We, like, we, we actually... Y'all showing the process that, of this we motherfucker. We built that motherfucker with our hands, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I seen so, it. Oh, like I said, shout out to Shikana, Tashana and Kalanda, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they're really the big dogs behind, behind the scenes. But that's how it came about, you know what I'm saying? Tashana is my own cousin. And you know what I'm saying, the, the relationship to me and Bone, our relationship go more than just best friends, you know what I'm saying? That's also my business partner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like with him owning his own business, his his T V mount service, you know what I'm saying? Make sure if you if you need your T V mounting, your, your your monitors, your studio equipment, and if you need furniture put together, make sure I'm you tap assemble in with anything. smart choice assembly. You know what I'm saying? Smart choice. He put assembly. my T V up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My boy Cole. No, he put them up so quick as hell, too. I'm just saying, now, Bone a good dude, though. Jimmy, like, I'll just say. Jimmy John's is this shit. Yeah, yeah, this shit. Nah, like, yeah. quick, fast, in the hood. Like, Bone, that dude, like, that's a good dude, like, that you, like, y'all y'all friends, but y'all also, like, business partners. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? My, my shit niggas, hard. My niggas helped us, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, me and Bone, we really put the idea and the groundwork to make Jimmy John with the wood. The footwork is just going around this motherfucker, driving around, selling tickets. The ideas, you know what I'm saying? And so look, it's like, nigga, it was like six or eight, 20 of you niggas when y'all was kicking walls down. Mm -hmm. When y'all posting that shit, it was like 20 niggas in that bitch. Mm -hmm. It's them same 20 niggas there now that the shit up running and y'all doing give backs for fucking schools and shit. Like, uh, is yeah. these same people still here after? Like, it's, it, it's a few. It's a few. It's a few people that seen their vision to the end. Mm -hmm. Shout out to DJ, shout out to Mo. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a few. That's hard. Because it be like, you you know what I'm saying? It be easy when, until motherfuckers got to start putting bread in and shit and then niggas be like. I mean, uh, I think it's one of those things where I think where, where, where most black people got it bad, where if a nigga kick you a seat at the table, Instead of you worrying about what's on your plate, you watching somebody else's plate. You know what I'm saying? 
Shit, I know what you're saying. I'm just like, no, nah, I feel you though, because that, that's where a lot of this shit be. It be like, and it's like motherfuckers don't be understanding. Like, all right, yeah, it's 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 ownership, but it's like, nigga, we ain't even we ain't even hit profit yet. We still gotta pay what we owe. Oh, man, talk that even, shit. Nigga, this shit was six figures. Yeah, like I'm still putting in. I'm coming out the pocket. You talking about where the money they, at? They gave us the dead at six six figures. You know what I'm saying? And it's small. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. we're trying to compete with, with 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 bigger people. So you know what I'm saying? On a on an upbringing of that, of course, everybody don't make it because everybody don't. I don't understand if, the process if, if, of this shit. Everybody don't. I, I think, like I said, niggas don't understand teamwork. No, nah, facts. Niggas just don't yeah, know how to versus, ride in the passenger versus, seat yeah, and versus, slide versus, and get hot to. Versus white people, motherfuckers understand teamwork. All right, this the driver, this the ride. This the I passenger. don't even think they understand teamwork. I just think they understand, like, we trying to get some money. Yeah, and then, At the like, end of the day, like, I ain't got to like your ass. We yeah, can run so it I up. Think, I think, like I said, with, with, with that being, I mean, it's, it's still teamwork. Nah, you know fact. Yeah, you it's, right. It's, you got to play your role with this shit. Niggas don't understand how to play the role, and I think niggas, was, niggas fell off by not understanding business. You know what I'm saying? That, that's that's the biggest thing is us as black people, we don't understand business. Niggas ain't niggas ain't grew up doing business. So even me, you know what I'm, saying? Yeah, I'm saying. still learning as it go. Yeah, we ain't grow you know up that saying? way. You just have to learn it on your own. You know what I'm saying? Once I After really, school. Once I really get a grip on this business credit, I'm really gonna be dangerous. But like I said, I'm still learning that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's 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 business that unfortunately, nigga, we ain't had the keys to coming up versus our counterpart. So it's like, no, yeah, fake. we 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 can do entrepreneurship and business shit, but that's why you see so many black people fail or get a bad rip and your attitude bad. You don't know how to talk to people. Mm -hmm. You ain't never open. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, well, we want to but you ain't never open. This is, so it's like we ain't never been taught how to properly run a business. That's why a lot of people fail. And not even saying I'm perfect. I mean, you me, I still, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I got to be better at checking my emails and, and yeah. that, shit, shit like that. But it's just shit like definitely said, hard. Yeah, it's, it's teamwork, bro. When motherfuckers understand, I, I'm, a, I'm the graphic man. I, I'm the videographer. You know what I'm saying? I. I'm, I'm, I'm a the paperwork person. I right, I'm handle the business in you. I right, I'm the front runner. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Once motherfuckers get that understood, then everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody can eat. It's just like you being an artist and you trying to build a team. Somebody got to get out here and do the ground rope promote. Somebody got to yeah, post. Somebody just got to wear their Post some flyers. Yeah. Somebody got to wear their hat. Somebody help me run this Instagram while I'm doing this. Yeah. Like it, it, it got to be <laughs> a team. Right, Jimmy, but yeah, then, yeah. everybody want to be the rapper though. Yeah. So everybody want to be the motherfucker. They think they want to be yeah. the rapper until yeah. they ask you like nigga her. You know what I'm saying? And shit. It, like it, 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 like I said, it's just unfortunate. But yeah. you know what I'm shit, it, it's possible. You know what I'm saying? If I can do it, shit, anybody can do it. <laughs> Man, look. So. What is the busy, the biggest obstacle you face, like, running a security business? <laughs> like, what's the... <laughs> and nigga, you, you face some bullshit. Like, what's the worst shit that can really happen while you out here? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Dealing with black people. <laughs> yeah, I fucked up. He said dealing with black people. But I feel you, but it's like, you gotta explain that shit. Black people don't want to do paperwork. I just want to be like, you my nigga. I know you from woo woo woo. So, I, so it's cash. You like, I'm a contract nigga. What? I, so what? What I you learned, put it on paper. What I learned. That's how I am now. Like, fuck that, but that shit on with paper. The, with the white people, and I don't, I don't mean that. You know what I'm saying? With with businessmen. You know what I'm saying? Of color, of non color. I said. They like trying do, to work off love and they, shit. They doing paperwork. You know what I'm saying? They they write shit off on their taxes. They got paper trail. Yeah. Niggas, my dog, bro, I like how you work. I pay you this and this and that. Mm -hmm. So now it's just become a, a agreement of a handshake. And in any, any moment we disagree, that shit over. Over. That shit over, nigga. Look at you dead in your face. And so I, I get that part, but it's like you got to think too, though. Some of these niggas, that's how they know how to run business. So they got to learn too. The same way we do. Oh. I don't, I, don't, I don't hurt like I I done been through it. I, I don't I don't hold it I don't hold it personally. So at this point you try to contract niggas like but, I need a contract. I mean the clubs is the only people that I probably say I, I don't get contracts with. It's really strictly cash. But like the private shit. 
private shit like malls, nursing homes, uh, apartment complexes, lot yeah, protection, you know, I, I need industrial that. work. But like I said, the 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 the, the plus side of the club shit mm -hmm. is on tax dollars and it's daily. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? The clubs open every day of the week. If you can say if you got a club that really pop, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Fahrenheit. Uh, at the time, shit, we was at press box. If you got a club that's popping Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So who would you say like your best clients you had so far? Like you know, if you if we get on your Instagram, we see from A list to B list to C list to local. You know what I'm saying? Like who is like your straight favorite client where you like, now this shit straight cool. I like fucking with them, working with them. Uh, I I would say I would say so it's it's a different. I would say it's a difference. I would say my favorite club when it was open, or well, I th I think they're back open, uh, was Press Box. But mm -hmm. simple fact, Press Box paid me top dollar, regardless. Mm -hmm. It was days I was in that bitch, and it was only me in that bitch, and I was watching football, and they were still paying, regardless. Mm -hmm. Not as financial wise, but my favorite club is Fahrenheit. Simple your fact. favorite club is Fahrenheit to just work at? Yeah, simple fact, I've been in Fahrenheit, I've been, I was the first security company in Fahrenheit. When Fahrenheit first opened in COVID, when Super managed Fahrenheit when it first opened, mm. I was working in Fahrenheit. And then we left, went to Press Box, and then we shot out to Weez again. We started, at this point, Weez didn't work from security guard I don't know. I don't to know. manage and to man shit. To manage and basically running the joint. We used to holler at me like shit. Then you come do security at Fahrenheit. So right now, out of all the clips in St. Louis, Fahrenheit, that one for you, like, that's your favorite spot to work at? Yeah. That's my favorite. Damn. They, Shout they, out Fahrenheit, goddamn me, they shit. Serve, they serve they serve jump. You know what I'm saying? They do serve. you be in that motherfucker straight like this? <laughs> straight and, and working thing, or do you be in that motherfucking the about, like? The thing about Fahrenheit, they, got, they, they, got them, they be having the most celebrities. You know what I'm saying? They got the most celebrity pull-ups. You know what I'm saying? You, if you see motherfuckers pull-ups. Could that be Yankee? Yeah, yeah. Saturday. That's what I'm really getting at. Like, shout out Fahrenheit for being like the best club for y'all. Yeah, it's the best club. What's the Canada? best celebrity client you work with? The best celebrity clientele I work with? I'll probably say Tommy Lee from uh, Bagger. Bagger? I mean, I think Love Hip Hop? Love Hip Hop, yeah. Why? She fine as fuck. Crazy. <laughs> toxic. She like St. Louis chick. <laughs> hey, that's crazy. So what? What about her? Make her like? Uh, I, I mean, what the fuck when, was when, it? When she came, when she came, you know what I'm saying? I was basically she was here for. Uh, <laughs> I think she was bad. here for something. And she, she got booked for a show at I mean, uh, after party at a strip club. And you know what I'm saying? I mean, she she was what she was on TV. She was tiny. She was like that in real life. Like that. You seen the pictures? Me, I had the pictures. I posted the pictures. Damn, that's hard though. She was tight. Like, she was real, 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 really, really tight. She fine. She fine old motherfucker. That's what's up. But you know what I'm saying? But the the, the port, like I said, the portfolio grew because that's the niggas from the Fahrenheit. trenches. You know what I'm saying? Like like I said, shout out to Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit keep a lot of. Celebrities there, like even though we as as a so couple, it's kind of like they booking them, but they picking you to secure them. I mean, Is that I'm, how that shit work? So it's like me keeping a bean in the book. I don't really, I'm not the security guard for for these artists. Nah, I'm here. But majority of these artists that come here don't have security. You just happen so you just, they just so happen to come to the club that I'm securing. So of course, when the celebrity you gonna make sure this shit right. You know what I'm saying? I'm here point. I take take care of the security, along with a few other majority that's of hard. my guys and like the head security of the club. So that's how pretty much how that celebrity. It's, it's really like networking. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's it's you know it's a few motherfuckers I pay. Like shout out to Skiller Baby. I, I attempted to pay him when he came. He came twice, and uh, we. Took a few pictures and they like basically work photos, but it's basically like networking. So my, it's networking. So Hell my yeah. thing is, if I can get, and you know, the internet is a, is a, is a, is, a, is a beautiful thing if you use it right. No fake. So my thing is, if I can get photos with these guys 
while I'm working, as I'm working, that's basically a portfolio. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like, like I said, it's not like I'm these guys' personal security. Yeah, but you're just making it make sense. Make yeah, you're networking. Not real shit. So that's why you see the ESTG, the Vito, the, the Finesse two times. Yeah. Skiller baby, nah, that's like hard. I, said, I, try, I try to pay Skiller baby. Like I try, to, I try to pay him, but nigga, he posted. Like I look up, nigga, he posted. He just did on some pleasure. Man, I agree with him, and that's where you, that's where you see all the photos. Man, salute Skiller baby, bro. So look, we got a couple supporters that hit up on the Instagram and shit, and we told them we was interviewing you and shit, and they wanted to ask you some questions. So that's what they want to ask me for? They fuck with cool you, bro. Who am I? And he said, "Who the fuck?" Well, look. So the homeboy, I am 16, okay. said... Hey, can I get a drink now? Please. Yeah, you gonna pop me up, too. Yeah, fuck it. Little mini made motherfucker. Like little mini made motherfucker. Oh, sorry. So back there drinking that shit. So my, my partner, 16, say, do people act different when they have security? And I'm assuming this nigga saying, like, is motherfuckers rah-rah without, like, when they, you know what I'm saying, when they mm -hmm. got security and vice versa? Um... Man, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't I wouldn't say I ain't even really had the chance like I said, I really ain't had the chance to service a lot, but I've serviced enough. And most of the people I've serviced are really cool people. You know what I'm saying? And I really do my homework. Like um shout out to uh, Mr. Anthony Waddy down in uh North, I mean, uh, uh, Fort North Carolina. Mm -hmm. one, of, one of the guys that uh, called me to do my my EP training. Oh, y'all seen that too? And it's like, I'm gonna like James our, Bond. And yeah, we, we we do our homework on who we service. So it's like I won't service nobody that has a reputation of conflict. Yeah, because nigga, I'm still trying to go home too. Yeah, I gotta make this shit make sense for him. Make my money yeah, secure so, you, and we good. You know what I'm saying? I think the only person really did I really handle hand in hand day to day is you know what I'm saying, shout out is is my nigga Holler. And he really ain't no Robert. We ain't even never been in a situation or nothing like that where he just So it's like I, so to answer the question, nah. Because like I said, I ain't really handle nobody that's really rah right, right, yeah, it's really just some vibe shit yeah but I also wouldn't take nobody that's right like I wouldn't take nobody that's, that you that's know got you 100 beats yeah it ain't like, worth it's, 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 it's local street orders they're like dead ass hit me up and ask can I do something it just ain't worth it nah got time for that shit okay so um Lexi Lou Music said what's the hardest thing about being a bodyguard and what advice do you have for someone wanting to get into the business um, the hard, the hard, the hardest thing about being a bodyguard, and what I tell my is being a bodyguard and security is two different things. And what I do, do uh, what I do is bodyguard, but I also, like I said, when I went for that training, is what we call uh, EPH, and that's that's what this badge is. You know what I'm saying? You see, that boy got accolades. Stop snake, playing with him. Show them people. Zero. Shit, I seen you, you, you in that motherfucker looking like James Bond on that. Executive protection. So the thing is, I I probably say when you get up in a level to where you're taking taking a hand in hand on high price clients, people that really got like people that train me, service people like Clinton Powell. You know what I'm saying? Like this. Clinton Powell. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a first you life say? African of Clinton Powell. <laughs> But nah, you know what I'm saying? But nah, guys, things, things like that, you know what I'm saying? Like those oh, we. Are, are a position of power. So it's like people that want to take them out. So it's like those people are, 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 are dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Like I think the hardest part about being a security or a bodyguard is working with people this famous. Like I said, working with Holler. You know what I'm saying? When they got jewelry on. Motherfucker running the worst thing you want is being a security or motherfucker snatch your client chain. Or, or, it ain't or, happening on your what? <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna put a nigga on Student Street. Man. Hey, look, I, like when I, in, when, look, when I went in training, I, 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 I was taught how to 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 break a nigga down with an ice mountain bottle. Man, <laughs> real shit. Like long, long as he long as long as he got it. He probably like I'm long, not gonna do long, that. Long, long, look, if you don't look, check this out. Look, check this out. I'm gonna tell you like this. When you go to concerts and major events, what they tell you? No open. Bottles, right? Or no? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So check this out. <laughs> if I got an ice, if I got a look, even it's plastic. If I got a little water bottle 
with water in it and I throw it at you and, I, and, and the cap open, it ain't gonna go nowhere. But if I got the cap on and just a little bit of water and I throw that motherfucker at you. You like, can knock a motherfucker out. Oh, I can puncture your motherfucker out. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why they tell me, you know, don't open no, you know what I'm saying? Like, it be like he dude. just got serious with that shit. Well, I could puncture your motherfucker out. Like, like man. Damn, it's, it's, so you, you sure got like some military training type shit. It, yeah, like the man that taught, the man taught, me, the man taught me, like I said, Mr. Anthony Waddy, man, he known as the Black John Wick. And I got that plug. Well, I wouldn't say a plug, but I got that opportunity. I need to send my boy a broad in that class. I got that, I got that, <laughs> I got that opportunity to do Big Wheel. You know what I'm saying? Big Wheel. I know I was saying that picture. Y'all all on the That's so hard. Shout out, to, shout, out to, shout out to Big Wheel. Man, shout, shout out to Big Bro, to man. Big bro, Real bro. shit. And you got one more. Familiar, not SK. No SK, man. Hey, salute my boy SK, bro. They say, how did you find a good team to invest with and find people with the entrepreneurial mindset? Uh, so there's two answers. There's two answers. With the security business, like I said, man, shout out to my nigga Devin. Shout out to my nigga Bam. Uh, you can really talk to him. My, my, my nigga Stefan, too. Uh, I think he came a, a little bit shortly after. But Devin came first. Devin came to me as a tall, skinny 21-year-old. Mm-hmm. Bam came to me as uh, I think he was maybe twenty three going on. Cause you actually seen something in them like I could try to build with them. My approach was um, if I don't know you, I know you don't know them. Yeah. But you're young enough to not know none of these niggas on the club scene. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's like my thing was when I was being a customer, like when I go out to the clubs, most of the security guards. You know what I'm saying? They, they know you, shit, you good. So, it was like, not that that was a bad thing, but it was like, I ain't want that with my company. Mm -hmm. So I wanted some niggas that didn't know nobody. So all that, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you working, they don't know you. So they ain't, they don't give a fuck about none of that. Cause most motherfuckers that's in the club saying that we service 35 and up, 28 and up. These yeah. niggas, they don't know you. But, they, they what the young kids say, they TTG. You know what I'm mm. saying? They trench babies. So, you know what I'm saying? They young. <coughs> they're, oof, oof. Yeah. They rough around the head. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shout out, like I said, shout out to Devin. Uh, it was a situation where shit, you know what I'm saying? You got to either go or go home. And him working with me, it was it was us to either go or go home. Y'all had a situation like that? Because it, it, it's, it's like, the, like I said, with with that service and clubs, you got to deal with the niggas that's breaking in cars. I'm saying so. You had a situation where it, it, it was either left or right. Yeah, and left came right, so we had to go left. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Like I said, thank God no nobody, I'm saying, nobody like, was killed or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, but I'm saying though that that goes into like you hiring a motherfucker, training a motherfucker, showing a motherfucker to be able to judge certain shit though. Because yeah. some motherfuckers that come out in this bitch like humming, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Some motherfuckers can actually real. judge this shit for what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody can go home. Because I mean, a, a lot of, in, in the industry, but a lot of motherfuckers think they can do it because, like I said, it's fast cash. Mm. Like I said, no, ain't no club really doing paper, ain't no ACH payment. Like that's me, I want ACH payment. And I want to see that motherfucker pending and clear, green, yeah. plus sign. <laughs> but. Like I said, unfortunately, with the clubs, it's, it's all cash. Which, mm. yeah, like I said, I ain't, I'm not knocking it. That's lovely. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Because there's always a plus to where I mean, you can make cash at night. Yeah. And you can take checks during the day. Oh, my mama. That's hard, though. So we're going to end this bit with, man, what would you tell your younger self? What would you tell the, the freshman? Bye-bye. Uh, what I tell the freshman me? Shut the fuck up. Like straight up, like shut the fuck up and listen. Yeah, I, you got I mean, two not, ears and one mouth, not, nigga. Not necessarily to listen, but for a reason. I mean, you 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 smelling yourself a little too much. That's hard. Yeah. I think that's hard in a motherfucker to be like, just shut the fuck up. I mean, most people you know, y'all fucked off a meal ticket. Nah, fake. You know what I'm saying? Like, she could have been easy. If you really think, you know what I'm saying? If you like, uh, you know what I'm saying? If you, you really think about it, you know what I'm saying? If you really know me, if you really went to school with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you shit. did. 
I, I mean, I'm old enough now, nigga. Like, if it, if it about four years, I'll probably punch your way. Yeah. You got me fucked. <laughs> nah, for real, I but feel like, you, though. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like I said, if, if, like I said, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's some old dudes just shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, at that point, I was kind of on a high horse. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm national. You know, I'm national with this nigga. I'm going here to there. Yeah. And I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like, you was really one of them dudes. Like, that's why yeah. a lot of people probably never knew you from that. Like, you was really one of them dudes. So it's like. So it's like, nigga, I, I live with that every day. Yeah, you for you to be able to say, like, just shut the fuck up, bro. Like, sit back, chill. Like, you know what I'm saying? Learn the game. Like, just. It's like I said, I, like I, said I, I don't care. Still to this day, I still ain't do shit to that teacher. I ain't threatening them. <laughs> but, <laughs> like I said, if, if I would have just shut the fuck up, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I would just shut the fuck up. I probably it, 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 I probably would have got rolled up, but I probably would have made it a week two or some shit like that. Yeah. Like I said, shut the fuck up. So, man, with that being said, man, salute you, bro. Salute all your businesses. Doing what the fuck they doing. You really turned up out here. Like, you heard what bro said. He see his bro and he see ABS everywhere. So it's like for people just to recognize that shit is a blessing. For it to be yours, you own it. No, most definitely. That black own, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I take, I take it with a blessing every day. No, nah, that's good. Saying? And I see how you promoting your shit. I see how you marketing your shit. I see like the team behind it and shit. So for somebody like me to know you, to grow with you, to know what we was doing back then to now, like, but we real like business owners. We doing podcasts and shit. Like we trying to spread yeah. this shit to the younger people. So I want Ziggy to watch this shit and be like, damn. Like, so I could be like that nigga Burr Burr if I wanted to. I ain't got to be like my uh, daddy. I could be like Burr. I'm, I'm most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, like I said, if you know me then, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we was wildin', but we also was one of the ones that still had our heads, head on straight just Fact. with a little, little twist to it. Man, you got any shout-outs you trying to give and shit? Um... Man, shout-out my nigga Holla. You know what I'm saying? Holla and PB, man. You know what I'm saying? They put, they put, put me on my first tour, man. That's hard. Yeah, that was hard as the motherfucker. Yeah, they, they put me on my first tour. You know what I'm Salute the big bro. Hold on. We gotta get y'all linked whoa. up, man. Holla. We gotta get y'all linked up. Holla. Hit me. Hit me, big brother. What the fuck we doing? Hit me, nigga. Like, come on, let's make this shit shake. Come on, nigga. That work. Yeah, yeah. Who else? Who your other shout out? Uh, uh, man, I'm gonna say shit. Shout, shout, shout out to motherfucking shout out to Fahrenheit. You know what I'm saying? Fahrenheit is obviously the hottest club out there, bitch. Hottest, hottest club. I think, like I said, hot, hottest club in North County. And shout out my nigga Weeds, too, bro. Like, real shit. Oh, shit. Other than that, man, shit, who else? Shout out my girl, man. She, 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 uh, she the... The uh, real mover and stuff, the, 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 the behind the scenes, man. So without, without, without. Shout that, out to your lady, man. Without that, it wouldn't be. And like I said, shout out to my nigga Bam. Shout out to my nigga Devin. Shout out to Stefan, man. Like I said, we we really built that shit up from ground. Without, I don't, like I said, without them, man, I don't think I'd probably be where I'm in now with this. That's shit. hard. That's major. I ain't gonna cap. That major though. Yeah, like for you to shout people out like that and recognize that shit. For y'all niggas to know that this shit really lit. Like, y'all really started some crazy shit with y'all out here. Like I said, nigga, I, with I, the big dogs. I, I barely worked at it. And like, and like I said, that, that wasn't a flex, but nigga, I barely worked at it. Cause them niggas said, because I nigga, my son was born. He yeah. got that contract in December. Nigga, my son was born January 31st, so nigga, I was at home. I'm just glad it's some niggas out here that understand, like, teamwork. Oh, no, yeah. Like, that's, that, that was real to me. Like, that's the shit that I pick out. Like, just teamwork, bro. Like, just knowing, bro, got us in this position. We can really keep the wheels going while this nigga over handling business. And this shit come back full circle to where more contracts come and shit like that. So it's like, without niggas like that, this shit don't work, bro. <laughs> like, it just don't work. Them, it can't them, work. Them three niggas never pocket watch. That's even harder, man. I ain't gonna care. We got a lot of them niggas. Hey, uh, like I said, they, they, they eat. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they, like, them niggas, it was, them niggas I could trust to like actually get my paper and drop it off. Yeah. And niggas, run this and shit like a business, man. Niggas never looked at me different or try to play it funky or, or or want anything off my plate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, man, shout, shout out, shout out to them niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout, shout out, shout out to them niggas for real. Tell them where they can follow you at, bro. Where they can uh, book you at? I mean, on, on Facebook, you you can follow me, find me, brother. Same thing. You also find my business. On Brother Security 314 on Facebook or on Brother Security 314 on Instagram and Twitter. Same thing on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Or you just pull up to the club, you might just see. <laughs> you like, pull up and see me. Just look up on the internet. I'll probably be with you 
Favorite, favorite artist. You know what I'm saying? Oh, favorite oh, artist. Probably you look up, I'll probably be on tour with Payne. And <laughs> Payne. <laughs> Talk your shit now. You're like, hey, you manifesting some shit. You know but look, saying? with that being said, man, first episode to speak on it, we lit, man. I appreciate you, big bro. Love you, nigga. I appreciate nigga. you, bro. Many blessings. And we out, nigga. You did.